All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back on this Monday on the 23rd, a couple of days before Christmas, and happy Hanukkah for all these uh, all our friends out there. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, good, good, good to see you. Ken, good to see you all. All right, Chuck, Mark, Don, Cheryl, everybody. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, everybody did all their Christmas shopping. Uh, they said they broke a new work record this uh, past weekend. They said this is the most money ever spent, even more on Black Friday, they said. So, listen, a lot of people making a lot of money, so you know what that means. We're going to have great, great earnings that I think we're gonna do, that's going to come out uh, regarding about the trading. Now, uh, I want to just talk about a couple of things before we start going through the watch list. You know, um, obviously, everyone has their holiday parties and you know, probably went to a lot of holiday parties. I was invited to so many of them, I couldn't even make them all. But everyone knowing, and, and this is the same thing you encounter. Most people know what you do. Everyone's always worried about, hey, is the stock market going to crash and this and that. You know what I tell those people, okay? I said, listen, if you think it's going down, just short it. What, what are you worried about? Just short it. Well, oh, the impeachment. I said, just short the market. Just short it. What are you worried about? You, you know, the market is so high right now. If it goes back to where it was three years ago, shoot, you're going to make a killing. Just short the market, all right? So they're like, well, okay, well, what do you think it's going to happen? Me, personally, I think we're going to go to 32, 35,000, okay? Because you all know as traders, when you break all-time highs, okay, on a stock, everyone, where's the, where's the resistance on the roof? Where's your next resistance level? Where's your next resistance? Now, not going down, Ed. We're going up. It's the sky. There isn't any, right? There is no resistance. And then what ends up happening, the short squeeze start coming in. I, I think we would probably could have a short squeeze going into. That would be unbelievable. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying not predicting anything. But you know what? I've seen this happen before. It could happen, you know, because the thing that I keep hearing, I hear a lot of people on the street like saying, Oh, the market's going down. I said, just short it, just short it. Guess what? If everybody shorts the stock, right, shorts the market, and it doesn't go down, what ends up happening? It becomes a short squeeze. What happens? How many times, how many of you guys here have seen short squeezes? How many? Tons of them, right? Tons of them. And what do we see in a short squeeze? Well, the, unfortunately, the bad part about a short squeeze, it goes down. So I, I, I really don't, I'm not a fan of a short squeeze. But I could see that. That could probably happen, okay? So for all the people that are haters, and honestly, personally, I just think a lot of people are just jealous that they wish they could have got into the market when they should have. And they're like, and now they're like, they're debating, is it too late? You know, oh, you're hearing, you know, all, all these things coming out on, on the financial stage. I say, just short the market. Just short it. What are you worried about? If, you, if you're such a great trader, but they're like, but I'm not really a trader. What do you think? I said, I think it's going long, okay? Um, how much, I said, how much money did you spend this weekend? How much money did you spend on, on holiday gifts? You know, wow, this is a great Christmas party. I haven't, a holiday party. I haven't been to a party like this. The one you did last year, looks like you guys spent more money. You went from a, um, you went from a, a local pub. Now we're at a steakhouse. Holy crap. That's a, that's a pretty substan substantial difference in cost, right? A triple. All right. So anyway. My point is this, is that I know we're going to, it's, we're going to the slow time of the season, but it honestly it doesn't look that slow this morning. I, there's a couple of great moving stocks that are moving, but I just want to tell you, you know, from, from last week until now, going into it, people get a little nervous going into the end of the year and so on. The kids are from school, and, and now this is when you get to meet everyone. Um, I tell everyone, and you tell everybody the same thing. If you really think the market's going down, I assume you're going all in and you're shorting it. Just short the market. Just short it, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to have a short squeeze. <laughs> Mike says, uh, yep, on CNBC experts back in the late summer, they were certain that another bear market like last year's drop. Listen, the only reason why, Michael, we had a bad drop last year and we had a Christmas crash, and that was one of the greatest opportunities where you guys could have made a lot of money. We killed it that time. Is that it, is it, it, And this could happen even now. The same exact thing like everything else. Um you have a, uh, that was uh, because the government shut down. That was really the only reason. By the way, our ITCI is really taking off right now. So anyway, um, wow, that's some hell of a pop. Someone just came out there and just executed all those sales orders out there. All right. So anyway, just telling you as, as a trader, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've seen, I've been through the internet bubble. I've been through the financial crisis. 
Okay, you know, and talking about the financial crisis, not not to bore us. I want to do some shopping, but how many of you guys hated hated that we bailed out the banks? People are like, what the hell are they bailing out the banks? And I thought that was the greatest thing ever. As a trader, when when President Obama bailed out the banks, I'm like, what are you worried about? That's just the greatest news ever. They're like, why should we bail them out? I said, because me as a trader, I'm going long. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is the greatest opportunity ever in the history of trading. How do you not how do you not buy? They're like, ah. And, and it's so funny, it's like the, you had Citibank at, at like two dollars. Where's it going? Is zero? It was at a dollar. People were selling. It was unbelievable. So anyway, um, let's get back to trading and let's have some fun, guys, and let's look at some of the stocks. So right now, the biggest winner right now that I'm long right now, I told you this earlier, I logged in around 745. I don't know where you guys are, but the TCI just took off. Look at that chart right there. It literally just popped just now. I was getting worried about it. I was making a little bit of a lower low. There was a big, big seller out there. And uh, if you look right here, those sellers just got executed. If you look right here, 24 was a resistance levels, and those guys just got nailed. Now it looks like we're going to 25. So looking pretty damn good on that trade right there. Uh, wow, that's nice. I'm up two bucks on that trade. So if you, you know, you know what? If you logged in early and you're here when you're supposed to be, and you jumped in right around this late, and it was pretty late. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the thing ran from 7:30. I chased it. That was at 16 at 22, but it was holding really strong at 22. If you're in right now, you're doing pretty good. Honestly, personally, I'm done for the day. I mean, I mean, you know, I tell you, I, early bird gets the money, man. That's how it goes. Anyway, is it ever too late to trade? No, there's a couple other ones that are moving. Uh, let's start off with the, we have a, also another one that's moving, YAYO. I don't know why guys don't log in early. You know, it's so funny. I mean, I look at the numbers and I look at the morning. It's the same, you know, same people that are there every morning. And then you guys just tr troll yourself in. OK, just you know, make it an effort, make it an effort to get here early. You know what? You can go home and do and do all your holiday shopping right now. You could have been done just on that TC, the ITCI. You know, what I mean, it's just it's just awesome. It's what we do. Pre-market is where the money is. All right. Uh, this one also is moving pretty nicely. Uh, this stock, uh, we got a we got a big seller right now. That's, you know, he's been sitting out there for a while, right around a buck eighty four. Got a 10,000 share iceberg order at a buck 82, so it's kind of really a like holding right there. I want to see that guy get executed. You can see him right here on the right hand side. Stock, I like it because the stock took a big hit, so that one's doing pretty well. Um, SAVA is another one came up by a watch list, and obviously they're not as pretty as the IC, uh, ITCI, but this one also it's got it's up 18%, 300,000 shares. It's got some really nice orders out there in level three, but she's kind of flatline right now, so I'm a little skeptical about it. But some of you remember we did trade this stock, um, you know, a couple of about a couple of weeks ago. Went from 160, ran to almost three bucks. So we know this one does move. SDRL, another one that came up on the watch list. Looks like she's starting to make a little bit of move. You could see it right here. This one is doing really, really nicely. It's up about 30 percent. Um, it's kind of flatlined also right here, but she did gap up. And there are some iceberg orders out here. You can see a 13,000 share seller at 222. Uh, DPW, another one that's moving up. Uh, so I make a little bit of a Fausto flag. This stock got decimated. You could see that stock was another short squeeze back in July. Took a big hit. Uh, it also did it in uh, oh, September. You could see it went from 4 to 10. And we know the stock moves. Go back to your journals. Look how you trade it. Look what we taught you. And, uh, and see how that stock is trading. Now, a couple of the big winners I do want to point out. Um, once again, we only, we don't just day trade here. We do swing trade. I want to talk about some of the swing trades. Goose, okay? So everyone knows this stock right here, Goose. We did it in our advanced class. That stock, you know, we didn't trade too many shares of it, but she's kind of holding here. You know, I'm still feeling a little comfortable with it. The Sage trade, that stock was just hands down a phenomenal winner right there. We all should have been in it at $61, okay? It's already at 76 Another great swing trade that's working out pretty well for you guys. And then uh, the one that was from last week is this one right here, RAD. You know, I still have it. I mean, I'm killing it on that one right there. I didn't get too much of the uh, Sage, but, you know, that this one right here is doing pretty well. Uh, the one I'm really ticked off at myself, though, I sold the Uber. Damn it. It went up. I didn't realize it went up so much. The Uber, I, I sold it at $29.50. 
you know, you know, on the swing trade. And, uh, you know, the problem with on this one, I think I told you this earlier, I just had too many shares of it. You know, I had too many shares of it. Uh, I got burnt once before a few times. Thank God, because that was at the $44 price range. You can see where it dropped down to. But, you know, this one, I sold it cheap. I think a lot of us got out right around 29 uh, 29 and a half, and you can see where it almost went to 31. So we did a couple of good founders sold 90% of his share. And you know what, Jeff? That was and that was right here, and that's what I'm saying. Like it got me really, get me, got me really nervous. You know, when they sold all those shares, like why is the guy selling so many shares? I mean, that's 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 ridiculous. So it's something you wouldn't sell your shares if unless you knew something, especially being an insider. You know what I mean? So I think we're from 34 all the way down to there. But she held up pretty strong here, so uh, we'll keep an eye on. It. Anyway. Got a good list today. Listen, guys, uh, Josh is going to be out today. Oh, my God, look at the thing still going. Look at this, ITCI. Look at that. You know what? Got to put a little cash register for that, huh? Where's my little cash register? There we go. Oh. No, 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 it's not crashing. Wrong one. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Cell is getting hit everywhere. Anyway, that's what we learned, right? That's what that's what we're here for. Uh, yep, that was a huge seller at 26. He got filled. Wow, because he's right there. All right. So anyway, guys, um, listen. Don't get too cocky. Don't get too greedy. Uh, it's gonna start getting really slow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. You know, market's closed. A lot of kids are off for a long time. It has been off since you know Saturday, so they're gonna be off for two weeks. You know, these what really screws things up as a trader when you have these holidays. You know, the, the, especially, you know, falling right in the middle of the week where it's not like Christmas is on, like on a Monday or Tuesday. Now, you know, I mean, on a Monday, now we're getting it on a Wednesday. And then it, and then next year's going to be on a Thursday. So it'll get a little bit better. But, you know, this um, this is one of, this happens every seven years. And this is like one of the worst situations that could happen in trading by falling on a day like this. Because, you know what, it, it's going to prolong things a little bit longer. But it's a great time to learn. So that's the key. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Like I said, Josh will be out. He's on vacation. And then um, me and uh, me and Rich will be here. And Greg and John will be banging out away. And uh, and we'll see you. We'll start commentating in the next few minutes. All right. By the way, this thing still looks strong. Coming up to a big seller right now at, uh, it looks like he's getting done. Ooh, man got taken out right at 650. Look at that. Guy got hit right there. Now it's going to 27. Cha-ching. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.